to start something, you need to be brave. You need to be bold. I think sometimes we don't go and try new things or follow our, our passions because of the fear of not being enough. When I was a kid, I was pretty risk averse. I had a wonderful childhood, but something that was really missing was experiences in the outdoors. The actual experiences of hiking, camping, fishing, recreating in the outdoors wasn't something that my family did. I was actually a young adult when I went on my first hike and pitched my first tent and saw my first wild animal. And that was the experience that really changed my life. Growing up, I didn't think of myself as an adventurous person, but it was because I let other people's image of myself get in the way. I think I've always considered myself an adventurous person. I've always been the person to climb up something or jump off of a cliff or start a new business. I was the first one in my family to go to university. I had studied architecture and started an architecture firm. I did everything that I thought I wanted to do until I realized it wasn't for me. I think when you grow up exploring beyond the beaten trail, when you start climbing rocks instead of just going on the hiking route, when you make your own rope swing, when you build your own tree house, those kind of adventures led to some of the entrepreneurial things I did later as a professional. We were living in the city and we had a really good life, but we felt stuck. I didn't have enough space to take risks anymore. And that was evident in my work as an artist. It was starting to feel safe and repetitive. And so we did this crazy thing and we moved to what is literally the most remote town in the lower 48, this beautiful desert valley. Just living every day here is an adventure and it's hard in a lot of ways, but I was getting too soft. I was ready for some hard. Adventure has become this catalyst for me to take risks again, for me to wake up and feel discomfort again, because that's really what fuels me as an artist and as a human. I think that adventure has become my muse. At the top of a mountain, just looking at the city, it gives you a different perspective. I love being a musician because it's a job where you work with your own emotions. And I like to think that through my music, I help other people to heal their emotions as well. When I'm stuck with a song or something, I just go for a walk and an idea pops up. When I'm on the trail, I feel like I'm connected to everything, not just nature, but other people and myself. For me, design will always be hands-on. I want to hold the wood, I want to cut the stone, I want to bend the steel. One of the most important projects I've ever done is building a house out of shipping containers. But right now, I'm trying to figure out how to carve into that mountain and set up a little safe fire this idea of exploring and playing, I think it's essential to a life of design. Since becoming a mother, I definitely relate to the outdoors in a different way than when I was a kid. Today, I absolutely think of myself as a badass, adventurous, exploring woman, without a doubt. One of my biggest hopes is that spending time in nature with my kids will allow them to have experiences. That builds a sense of self, builds a sense of fearlessness and exploration that I really want my children to have. I was thinking the other day about a childhood book 
The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And there's this quote from Huck Finn, and he says, I reckon I've got a light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's gonna adopt me and civilize me, and I can't stand it. Been there before. Isn't the whole point of living to grow and evolve and change? Because otherwise, you're gonna become too civilized, and we've all been there before. (laughs) 